to play Blood and Bones by Codaline. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the verse, the chorus, and the riff I played in the beginning of this video. We're in standard tuning, no capo. We're going to start out here with the verse. There are some bar chords, so if you're a beginner, be wary of that. We're going to start out with D chord, so you're going to have your index finger on the second fret of the A, not the A, the G string. Middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the high E, ring finger on the third fret of the B. We're going to start picking the D root note twice. So, dun, dun, and then you're going to strum. So, da, da. And you can do a down up like I just did there. So, you pick twice, strum down, down, up. Next, we are going to a F sharp minor. So you're going to bar the second fret with your index finger, all six strings. Ring finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the A, pinky right under on the fourth fret of the D. We're going to pick our A twice now instead of our D, our A string. Okay, so putting those two things together, we're starting on our D chord to our F sharp. So you're going to shift your index finger down to cover um, the A string down on the 2nd fret. Your middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret of the B, ring finger on the 4th fret of the D, pinky right under on the 4th fret of the G. Still using our A note as our root note. And then right after that we go right back to the F sharp. And that's it for the verse. So the verse sounds like this. Nice and slow on the D chord to your F sharp to the B minor back to the F sharp. Okay, so that's the verse. Now we're going to learn the chorus. For the chorus, it's slightly different here. We're going to have a G chord and an A chord. So your G chord, you can have your ring finger and your pinky on the third frets of the B and the high E. Middle finger on the third fret of the low E. Index finger on the second fret of the A. Same strumming pattern, but now your E is the root note, so pluck that twice. Strum. to your A chord, so you're going to have your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D, ring finger on the 2nd fret of the G, pinky right under on the 2nd fret of the B, and we're switching back to the A note as our root note. And you're going to do that twice in the chorus. So the first part of the chorus sounds like this. You're going to do that three times. So you do that three times. And then we're going to go to a D chord to our F sharp minor to our B minor. But instead of like we did in the verse, going back to that F sharp minor, we're going to go to an A that twice. So D, B minor, to your A. Okay, so in the chorus there's three instances of this. You have your G, to your A, you do that three times, and then there's two instances of you doing this chord progression with the D, to your F sharp, B minor, to the A. And that's it for the chorus. So now what I need to teach you is this little lick here. Okay, so that's gonna go like this. It's a little tricky and it's tough, so if you're a beginner, just take it slow. We're gonna start with our ring finger on the third fret of the B, middle finger 
on the second fret of the B. So you plug that third to second. Your index finger is going to be on the second fret of the G, and your pinky is going to be on the fourth fret of the D. So you pick this third fret of the B, second fret of the B, second fret of the A, fourth fret of the D, and then back to the second fret of the A, or the G. After you do that, you're going to drop your index finger and you're going to alternate picking between the D and the G strings. You do that twice, and then you add your index finger back to the second fret of the G. So that sounds like this. And all together, nice and slow here. Alright, and that's it. So in this tutorial, I've taught you that riff, how to play the verse and the chorus, the chords for both of those. I went through it quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.